SEMrush has lots of brilliant features to help website owners and SEOs improve their website performance in the search engines and for users. There are lots of ways you can improve your website and SEO, but if your technical on-page SEO isn't up to scratch, then any off-page marketing and link building will be more limited. Therefore, a healthy site with as few errors as possible is important. My name is Sadie Sharon, Marketing Director at Falcon Digital, and I'm going to take a quick look at SEMrush's site health metric, which can be found in the SEMrush site audit part of the tool. To set this up, just add your website to a new project and run an audit. For this, I'm going to choose 100 pages as a sample and also just set to one off, but you can get these audits to update weekly or monthly. It doesn't take long for an audit to be completed and once it is finished, it will bring up your site health score. This is a score out of 100. It's based on the frequency of errors that are found. For a more accurate score, you should crawl more pages. SEMrush uses unique checks to work out the score and will give you errors, warnings and notices. Your site health is mostly worked out from your errors, as these are more important and should be looked at first. Some of these may be minor, such as duplicate page titles. But remember that these best practices add up on a large site and cumulatively can really make a difference to your site's performance. A healthy site will do better in search engines, and some errors or warnings may be due to usability, so it could affect people converting on your site and directly impact sales. For me, I like to use the health check as an overview of how the site is performing, and I can monitor this with internal and third-party teams. Having the audit run regularly can flag issues, such as if someone has been adding or removing pages and not letting us know, so we can keep on top of any issues that this may present. So what do errors, warnings and notices mean? Errors are issues of the highest severity. They contain the most weight in grading your site's health score. Some examples could include pages with slow load speed, pages with duplicate meta descriptions, format errors on your sitemap.xml files or your robot.txt files, broken internal links, duplicate title tags, broken internal images. Warnings in the site health score are weighted more moderately. These could be outgoing internal links which contain the nofollow attribute, images that don't have any alt attributes, pages that have low text to HTML ratio, pages that don't have any meta descriptions. Notices are more minor issues that are associated with your website. Although they don't hold a lot of weight in regard to your site health score, SEMrush has added these issues so you can improve the overall site for user experience and SEO ranking. It's recommended that you fix these issues as well. You should also look at these notices in context as some of these may indicate different crawling or site issues that will need to be addressed. Outgoing external links that contain no follow attributes. Pages that require more than three clicks to be reached. Pages that have more than one H1 tag. Links on a page that have no anchor text. Or orphaned pages in the sitemap. The SEMrush Site Health Score is a great way to keep on top of website maintenance. The errors, warnings and notices are easy to understand and you can even add them to Trello or download them to manage with a team. Having actionable tips to improve your SEO means that anyone running a blog or website has easy to understand tips that will help them improve their online presence. To get your site health score, sign up to semrush.com.